The International Olympic Committee is still planning on holding the 2021 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan. They were delayed last year due to the global pandemic, and there's been a lot of debate on whether they should move forward this year, too. In tonight's Eye on Kelly and Don Jorgensen sits down with South Dakota's very own Olympic gold medalist Billy Mills to get his thoughts on the games and his message for today's young athletes. And here we go with the final lap for the gold medal in the 10,000 meters. Billy Mills, a young Native American from Pine Ridge, was in third place in the final lap of the 10,000 meter run at the 1964 Olympics in Tokyo. Here they come down the final lap. But he wouldn't stay there long. Mills is coming on. Bill Mills in the Bills shocked the world when he pulled off an upset that still called one of the greatest moments in Olympic history for the United States. Just won the men's 10,000 meter event, the first time the United States has ever won this event. Billy, thanks so much for taking the time. I recently caught up with Billy Mills at his home in Sacramento, California. He'll turn 83 this summer. Obviously, thinking back in 1964 and your 10,000 meter run, I, obviously you remember that, but what, what stands out to you? The standout was actually accomplishing what I set out to do. He told me winning the race was twofold. Coming off the final curve, my thoughts were I'm going to win, but I may not get to the finish line first. And did I contradict myself? Then I realized the first, the first goal was to heal a broken soul and I was utilizing sport as the catalyst. So the next thought was, but I'm going to try to get to the tape first. I'm going to try to win the race. Mills told me that his broken soul was from his upbringing. He grew up in poverty on the Pine Ridge Reservation and even contemplated suicide at one point. But he used running as a way to channel his energy into something positive. His dad once told him, if you want a man broken wings, you need to dream. So I got off the chair, junior in college, and I wrote down the dream. Gold medal, Olympic 10,000 meter run. Mills says he won two races that day in Tokyo. When I broke the tape, I realized the first and most important race, I healed a broken soul. And in the process, I became a gold medalist. A year after winning the gold, Mills spoke with Kelloland Sports. I know that uh, Tokyo victory was one of your uh, great thrills and everybody in the land is happy over that achievement and uh, we do wish you much success and hope you can compete in the Olympics in Mexico City in 1968. Thank you. My happiness is realizing how many people are happy for me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bill Mills. Now here we are 57 years later and the Olympics are going to be held once again in Tokyo. I think we have to be very very cautious. Uh, I think there's, there, there's a pandemic, a, a global pandemic that, if it's not controlled, can truly kill. I think that what, we have seven, seven and a half billion, close to seven and a half billion people on the planet. I think we definitely can lose a billion, a billion and a half people if we don't come together to address the COVID-19 and the variants that come from it. Mills was supposed to attend the Olympics last year in Tokyo and serve on a panel to answer questions about the games. That was until COVID hit. While the IOC is moving forward with the games this summer, Mills still has concerns about safety. I think that has to be priority. And after that, if the Japanese leadership think they can put on the games in, in a safe manner, then I'm, I'm in total support of it. But I, I tend to listen to the majority of the people in Japan, and they still have incredible concerns. Mills says winning the gold changed his life forever. It gave him the platform to do good things, like his nonprofit, Running Strong for American Indian Youth. When President Obama gave me the President's Medal, and when the Anti-Defamation League presented me with the highest honor they give, to somebody who addresses racism, uh, I, I, I cried. Uh, I felt my wife and I were making a difference. But he says it wasn't just that or his gold medal. Mills says it was his entire journey and how he got there. And that's his message for today's young athletes. I think there's, there's some phenomenal athletes 
Uh, I think today's athletes, or I'll say sport, properly taught, can better prepare our young people for the challenges they'll face later in life than just about anything they can do. And that, Mills says, is the real finish line for all of us. With Eye on Kettle Land, I'm Don Jorgensen. Mill says following his victory in Tokyo, he never got to take a victory lap because some runners were still on the track completing the race. But he went back to Olympic Stadium in Tokyo 20 years later and took his victory lap with his wife Pat sitting in the stands clapping.